Good afternoon, everybody. I will just wait a few moments for uh, people to uh, spool in. Welcome to the launch webinar of Euro Emitor. Um, it's great to see a good number of you here, some familiar faces and some new faces. Um, the four of us are here from kind of the four lead partners of the consortium for this program. So you may know some of us um, already, but we'll introduce ourselves as we go. So we've got a good number of people in here. Um, so just very quickly, at the very top, I'll just review the agenda. Uh, as I said, I'll let my colleagues introduce themselves as they go along. I'm Aaron from ETOA, the European Tourism Association. We're hosting this webinar today on behalf of the consortium. Uh, as we said, this is just a, a, a launch into the call, just to provide some kind of in-person uh, introductions as to what it's all about and uh, how to apply and get involved. Um, so. Uh, Sergio will just provide an overview of the project shortly. I'll cover um, how to apply and the people who are um, uh, qualifying for this in advance. Uh, and then Christian and Federica will give some uh, real life examples um, of what we're talking about here in terms of neuromarketing and its application as part of this project. So that's just a very quick overview. Um, please use the Q&A function uh, in the webinar just in case anything emerges so do that throughout the webinar and then we'll seek to uh, answer those at the end um, if not we're aiming for a tight 20 minutes here and but we can go over in terms of answering specific questions at the end so without further ado I'll just hand over to Sergio and kind of what is it and why Emotor thank you Alan. I'm going to share my uh, so good afternoon everyone i think you can see my screen now perfect so uh i would like to start uh why we came out with this project euromotor in the consortium so the idea was that after uh COVID and the pandemic we thought that it was very important for the european uh tourism SMEs to build forward better. So in order to do that, uh, one critical challenge was digitalization and the new wave that is coming related to all that digital ecosystem. So we thought as uh, a consortium that we had to do something to support the European uh, SMEs. So the uh, result is this project uh, where we are applying neuromarketing techniques, and my colleagues will be explaining later on about that, uh, how neuromarketing can help your company to perform better. So this is uh, a co-funded European project uh, with a budget of 1.2 million. Uh, there are six partners from five uh, different countries. This journey towards this digitalization will end in January 2025. And the idea, as I was mentioning before, is uh, going through that digital transition, applying your marketing, and specifically taking into account emotions and all everything that happens inside our customer. So we will reach at least 100 SMEs that will be awarded, up to 20 uh, European countries, starting with three regional clusters, Veneto region, Finland, and the Canary Islands. And uh, eventually we will scale up this project. So five, uh, six partners, two European uh, association, ITOA as a uh, 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 a private companies association next tour as uh, the destinations uh, covering destinations mostly and then three uh, universities she said in Italy University of Las Palmas of Gran Canaria by the way I'm Sergio Moreno from the University of Las Palmas and Haga Helia uh, in uh, Finland and then we have a DMO from the Canary Islands uh, Turismo de Gran Canaria so the, this project starting with uh, up to 60 SMEs in the three selected clusters, Finland, uh, Veneto in Italy and Canary Islands in Spain, we will uh, 
cover at least 40 more SMEs from all around Europe. And the idea is to scale it up to the entire tourism ecosystem, covering as many uh, companies as we can in the future. So about the storyline, uh, this project is trying to connect uh, your company with technological and service providers. Uh, in order to do that, the business support your organizations, the uh, universities and labs that are taking part in this project will help to make that connection possible and to adapt your needs and requirements with the different solutions that those uh, uh, providers can't uh, add. So we will apply these new marketing techniques in order to better connect with the customer and to really understand that black box that is our tourists. Because we talk about experiences, that we have to provide experiences, but the experience actually happens inside the customer. So in order to get to know everything that happens inside our tourists, we have to be innovative and apply those new marketing techniques as you will see later on. About the structure of this project, we will start selecting 100 SMEs. Once you are awarded, you are part of that ecosystem, that pool. You will have a customized diagnosis about your digitalization and what your status quo is. After that diagnosis, we will provide uh, a free customized analysis, applying your marketing techniques to your company. It can be to your website or some promotional uh, content. Uh, can be a video, your uh, pictures, whatever you are uh, interested in. And it depends on the uh, uh, diagnosis. And finally, you will be part of uh, that ecosystem, that hub, where you can connect with uh, uh, service providers, uh, different labs all around Europe, and other SMEs, and uh, have some peer-to-peer -peer learning as well. So that ecosystem is critical, and you also have some uh, funding to actually invest in those solutions and uh, guidelines that you will receive after your customized uh, report and analysis. Eventually, there is a, a future monitoring with a dashboard, and you will get access to more information that can help you to better manage your company. So the objectives and somehow why you should participate in this uh, project is it's, it is helping to better understand this digital transition and the new wave specifically about the neural marketing techniques. So how can you use those techniques to improve your performance? And you can connect your needs with the service solutions and providers that are out there in the market. And we will help you to do that connection, adapting your needs and requirements to different solutions. And eventually you can improve the customer experience, you can improve your promotion, you can improve your uh, product design and your business model. So that is uh, what we are trying to do with this uh, project. So. Once you are awarded, you will get access to that hub we were mentioning. And remember, in that hub, you will get, get, uh, get free access to training material, uh, webinars and training seasons, um, coaching, matchmaking events to get in touch with uh, the service providers, uh, analysis of best practices, peer-to-peer uh, -peer learning, and so on and so forth. So we really think that this project adds a value to your company and to the tourism European uh, ecosystem. And we will be very happy to see your application uh, to this project. So thank you very much. Um, back to you, Aaron. Thank you, Sergio. So I'm just sharing with everybody the link now to the main application page, uh, which I'll just be sharing now as well, uh, just as a quick run through. Um, we have now launched the call, uh, and uh, uh, this will be open until the end of September. So just very quickly, as much information as we have pretty much on the project is available on this site. 
uh, including the link to the application itself, which is an online application. So very technical details as well as more um, uh, straightforward stuff in terms of who can apply, who should apply, uh, and what's on offer and what is the process. So really on the top level, uh, we need to really highlight the, 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 the target segments within the tourism industry that this project is uh, available to, and that is travel agencies, tour operator reservation services, and a slew of accommodation providers, including hotels, holiday camps, um, short stay rentals, camping grounds, uh, and rec recreational ve um, vehicle parks. So within the, the, the wider ecosystem, they're the targets for this particular program. Uh, and of course, um, as in line with the, um, the funding that's available, this is uh, available to SMEs. So if you're not sure whether you qualify, there's lots of details here in terms of what that means, uh, uh, what the definition of an SME. Applicants can apply from uh, EU member states as well as a number of COSME participating uh, countries. So again, if you're not sure if that is you, if you're from outside the EU, then please check that list to make sure that you apply, but it will come through in the application itself. So as I said, there is lots of information here on the website in terms of when it's closing, how to submit additional questions. And then right at the bottom here is your application form. So we really encourage you to provide as much detail as possible um, on the application form that really helps us once we start the assessment process in terms of the scoring system, which is uh, uh, explained uh, on this page. Um, so that really breaks it down and hopes that uh, allows us to kind of rank and select the, 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 the most applicable candidates. So that's really the process that we'll be following over the summer. Um, but I'm sure everybody's keen on understanding exactly what this means in practice for private businesses in terms of getting access to markets. So I'll, I'll hand over now to Christian and Federica. Thank you. Just check a second and I'll find my presentation, which I somehow have lost at the moment. I'm so sorry, just so short moment. And here it was just a moment ago. Here we are. Okay. I guess you can now see my presentation yes yeah, so good afternoon on my behalf as well my name is christian sievers coming from finland and coming from the haga helia university of applied sciences and the remaining about 10 minutes me and uh, my colleague federica from italy uh, will give you some practical things uh, why neuromarketing uh, is important and how we see the connection between the technologies and opportunities up to the practical benefits to the uh, smes uh, in Euro, Omo, Euro Emotur, on of all the possible technologies and digitalization tools, we are concentrating on a few, which is uh, mentioning that, that we, uh, as Sergio said, that understanding the emotions and the things that really make our customers, the tourists, what they like, what they don't like, how do we can uh, get their attention and how do can we better understand what we should be offering them. So we offer for the SMEs eye tracking technologies where you can on different technologies understand how people look at websites. We uh, have different analysis tools to understand the emotions and also the connections to virtual reality, augmented reality, as well as using data, analyzing uh, data to get better understanding what the companies should be doing. The uh, sort of the we often when we are in the world of digitalization we are really high tech but in our case what we really want to do is concentrate on the emotions because the emotions are something that make us uh, do our decisions most of the things that we do are unrational enjoyment experiences are connected to those levels rather than uh, and, and rather than rational things and in order to compete for the SMEs with the global giants, which are more and more going for the price connected marketing and so on. We try to find the tools and methodologies and understanding how we compete with uh, in this uh, uh, industry. Uh, how we do it, uh, all of us partners in these projects have uh, 
same types of technologies, seeing where people are looking when they see a website, a mobile phone application, brochure, and, and uh, can collect data and understanding of what cat catches the attention, how long is some uh, uh, elements or things on the websites uh, looked at and so on. And also by looking at facial expressions and other technologies, we can go deeper in the understanding what really motivates people in, in uh, doing what they are doing and how can we uh, improve our uh, solutions to get a better results in the, uh, for the business uh, benefits. This is just one example of, of looking at uh, how does these technologies look. So the, uh, we can see where people are looking, what type of uh, uh, emotions are going inside the person. And these type of technologies give us enormous amounts of data. And what we are doing is helping you, the SMEs in uh, getting, not you don't have to understand the data, that's for us. You get the results and suggestions and improvement ideas from our side. And Frederica will tell you some examples of the processes they have already done with tourist companies next. Thank you very much. Uh, Frederica Montaguti from CISET, uh, Italy, uh, senior researcher. Uh, as uh, Christian introduced, I will show you some examples of what uh, this kind of uh, neuromarketing analysis can do for your website for performance. Uh, the um, examples uh, come from a series of projects we conducted with our uh, neuromarketing analysis agency, which uh, is basically a spin-off of uh, our uh, master's program and some they conducted themselves uh, uh, but in the relationship uh, they agreed uh, for us to show it i have also to thank you the businesses uh, which are allowing us to use their own cases here the first one you see uh, here you can see is a travel agency you can see uh, the gaze of the users on the mobile version of the website the spots uh, are the points where the uh, gaze is focusing. What's the problem in here is uh, you see then that the first scroll, uh, the gaze focuses on the uh, parts uh, underlining the possibility of using a gift card or a um, discount code. Uh, and on the second part, on the um, paying methods, uh, but the user completely jumps over uh, um, a feature that al would allow him to uh, uh, opt for an option uh, to uh, just pay an account. Uh, this is a very comp important feature for a travel agency as people here are booking uh, whole packages for families. So paying uh, uh, just an account uh, is uh, a really important for them. Uh, and the fact that they are not founding it can really frustrate your uh, customer. And a frustrated customer usually drop off your website and go booking somewhere else. Um, in this case, then, the problem was basically that the users couldn't see in the middle of the other information this particular uh, option. And what was the solution? Uh, Christian, I think you need to get to the other right. Thank you. Uh, the solution proposed after this analysis was to uh, change the two uh, information about the discount codes and about the gift cards into two call to actions still visible but they are not uh, taking all the room on the on the screen, and to highlight with a different color the uh, possibility to uh, only pay an um, an account, and this really helps to um, solve the problem of, of potential problem of frustrating a user because they can't find uh, they can't find the the option they are looking for. And the second example uh, is uh, an example coming from the hospitality industry. In this case, it's another example of how neuromarketing can help you, where all the kind of uh, 
uh, web analytics or other tools can really um, support much, uh, which is the case uh, of changing the, completely the design of your website. This is a very important decision. And the problem with web analytics is that if you got it wrong, you discover it just after a while because you need to collect, start to collect the data for uh, the new version of the website. And uh, then changing it, if you got it wrong, is really, really uh, difficult and costly really to change all the whole design of the website. What was done in this case, um, it, uh, there were created two mock versions of the website and the clients of the author were asked to navigate the two version and the, they were monitored to, um, using eye tracking, EEG and AD, EDA. Uh, so three neuromarketing um, technologies uh, to analyze their reaction. The first concept was a concept based on change. Uh, so underline the idea that the hotel was changing, uh, but not uh, losing some of his former um, uh, features. And the second idea went straight to uh, the new uh, concept of the a new value proposition of the hotel and so uh, on the idea of uh, uh, design and lifestyle hotel. Um, so our marketing analysis were conducting and what the result is was that you can see in the two uh, figures here that images and text of version two were watched or read for a longer time uh, both on the desktop, and uh, you see right, sir, and on the um, sorry, uh, both on the desktop and on uh, um, the mobile version of the um, of the website. So, and e the EEG analysis also confirmed that version two uh, elicited more focus and engagement uh, from the majority of the users. So they decided to go directly for version two, which is the blue one. And uh, uh, they keep, um, the web analytics APIs confirmed that it was the right choice because uh, uh, the average page value increased with respect to the old version of the website of almost 50% and 20% more or less uh, is the increase in the time spent uh, on the website and the bounce rate was reduced of uh, about 60%, which is a lot. A third case, uh, always from the hospitality industry uh, uh, of application of web marketing techniques, uh, is concerns the homepage uh, of the of the website. So very important to gaining your uh, customer attention and um, hook them in the three seconds <laughs> you, uh, they, they need to uh, decide if you if they like you or not uh, in this case a series of uh, neuromarketing uh, analysis were conducted uh, and they confirmed uh, and the testing confirmed that uh, an idea that jumped jumped up a very creative one a very original one but that might sound a bit uh, daring uh, was really uh, viable and uh, um, could be able to uh, really create engagement and uh, uh, and attention uh, in the in the customers. Uh, so the uh, the idea was to introduce this uh, clock you see at the uh, center of the. Um, web page uh, the clock is connected uh, uh, to the clock of your, your of the customer's computer so it shows the hour on the computer on the customer's computer and uh, the image around it ch um, change uh, according to the hour showing uh, what the customer would be doing if they were at the hotel at the same exact time. So now it's 2 uh, p.m. in the image, and so we will be having lunch at, uh, uh, at uh, this lunch at the hotel. Uh, also, daring because very different, very original uh, with respect to the usual website design, uh, the original marketing testing uh, resulted in very positive results towards this, and this was confirmed again by the, the web analytics because uh, this web page managed to get 
plus 30 percent of more or less of the conversion rate between energy conversion rates so this means uh, 30 percent more of bookings people entering the booking area and uh, 74 percent more in the website revenue which is uh, quite a result in direct marketing terms and this is all for the for the cases um, I hope they highlighted what neuromarketing can do in practical terms for a website. Thank you much, Federica and Christian. I think that really helps explain what this is all about uh, for uh, really access to SMEs to some really quite interesting techniques and opportunities uh, in that field. So hopefully that's given everyone a bit of flavour of what that's all about. A number of people here will be from the clusters and have been invited uh, from my colleagues here. So I'm just very quickly uh, before we close, let uh, Sergio, Christian, and then Federica just say hello uh, to their clusters and explain what's happening next in that group. If you're not either in uh, the Canaries, Finland, or uh, in the Veneto region, then uh, I'm your main contact, uh, but all applications will be going through the page that I shared earlier. So just over to you now, Sergio. Si tu empresa es de Canarias o de España, tendremos un seminario ahora en julio que se anunciará brevemente y por supuesto nos puedes contactar, eh, puedes ver ese seminario que va a estar grabado y nos puedes contactar en cualquier momento para tus preguntas y te animamos a participar. Contamos con tu empresa. Back to you, uh, Aaron. Christian. Joo, hyvää iltapäivää vielä suomenkin kielellä, kun muutama suomenkielinenkin oli paikalla. Eli tosiaan Haaka Helia on Suomen kontaktipiste tälle haulle, ja, ja meihin voi olla yhteydessä koko, koko prosessin ajan. Hakemukset ja muut tämän tyyppinen tehdään englanniksi, mutta meidän kanssa tosiaan voi kontaktoida ja keskustella näistä tarkemmin asioista, asioista suomella, suomeksi. Me järjestämme suomenkielisiä webinaareja elokuusta alkaen, ja tiedotamme niistä sitten sekä Haaka Helian sivuilla että, että muutenkin. Mutta Thank you. Last but not least, Federica. Buongiorno a tutte le imprese dall'Italia e dal Veneto. Nel caso voleste più informazioni, c'è un altro webinar in preparazione. Ne terremo uno il 17 di luglio e un altro agli inizi di settembre per chi non dovesse riuscire a partecipare il 17, essendo che è un periodo un po' fitto, lo sappiamo, per tutte le imprese. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, everybody. Um, that concludes our webinar as a short introduction to the Eurimator uh, program. Uh, as we said, this is open until the 27th of September, so if you haven't already submitted your application, please put some time in your diary to, to, to submit that via the link. We will stay on just in case there are any uh, Q&As, uh, but this video will be sent out to everybody who's registered uh, and who attended today. So thank you very much, and we'll just stay on briefly in case there are any questions that we can answer directly.